Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to... And now, with the lore of the land, our dungeon master. Tales speak of a great and wise creator named Sila. It is said she crafted the universe and its two inhabiting worlds, Kitera and Valorn. To Kitera, she bestowed her very soul, while Valorn was gifted with her beating heart. To this day, both worlds remain mostly untamed and unpredictable, but many settlements have managed to thrive regardless. Your adventure begins near the floating city of Baltur on Valorn, a place known for its arcane and bizarre districts, the seemingly endless labyrinth at the core of the island, and the monumental castle that rests at the island's peak. All right, the way that I'm going to handle this split party thing is they're going to get to a certain point, and then you're going to get to a certain point, and if need be, we'll flip-flop, okay? Okay. Until then, Sal Grindel is not here. You're free to commentate, crack jokes, and things like that. Just know you are not here to help them, and it is all out of character. Until it's my turn? Yep. Okay. I'll let you know. All right. So you two are in this long hallway, lots of doors. Princess is just kind of on edge and looking at you two for it's some okay, sort of... It's okay, sweet. I'm going to hold her hand. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. Mm. Now smell her a little. It's okay, <laughs> princess. A little bit closer. A little bit closer. <laughs> and I'm still pouting. <laughs> I miss Sal. I miss Jerry with his sweet cocaine. This wasn't here <laughs> at all before. This isn't right. I don't think we're in your palace. You... Well, clearly... It this just looks like it. Where are we then? What's... I don't know. You brought us here. If I'm stuck here with you... Then we're fine. And I stand up all of a sudden. Listen here, bitch. I lost Sal. I lost my best friend, Jerry, in his sweet cocaine. Wait, Where who are is... we? You should have known this would be dangerous. I told you it was. And I go to backhander. Do you backhander? I go to backhander, but I'm very upset. I wouldn't put a lot nope. into it, just so you know. I want you to make an attack roll. Don't do it. It's yep. a 13. Okay. She grabs your left hand as you bring the back of it swinging towards her, stopping your hand midair, and she lunges her hand towards you. You look down, and about an inch from your gut is this blade of pure light jutting out from her hand. You will not touch me or lay a hand Ooh, on me at all. Oh, yeah. Or you will die. Take that, you nasty old man. The light disappears. She lets go of your hand, dusts off her dress. Girl power. (laughs) 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 Shut up. Get up. Let's go. Okay. Does anyone have any ideas? Do you think there's any way to, like, summon the door back or something? Sure. You two haven't done this whole adventuring thing very much, have you? Well, no. I have. I, I live in the woods. I remember being in a situation like this about, oh, 75, 80 years ago. It was me and Jerry and Steve. Let's see if, and, uh, uh, Let's consult Uncle Dice here. Go ahead and spin your story, old so man. So, we were in a hallway like this, and there were many doors. I remember the stairwells went up and down, but they seemed to loop and continue over and over and over again. And some of the doors would lead to the same location, and then it would go topsy-turvy and upside down and spinny winnily woo and then I knew what to do, I knew what to do, yes! Do I know so, what to do? So, at the end of this tunnel experience you're describing, you said how many years ago? I've never done this before. You've never done this before? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but Mr. Peppers has! Uh, the princess walks out of the room, she stands in the hallway, and she walks up to a door and says, I'm going to open this one. Flies open, a howling wind comes out, you see snow flurries just whipping and swirling outside of the room. She pulls the door closed. Are you sure you don't want to build a snowman? This is absolutely frustrating. So this place is just like a portal, nexus portals to every, it's just places everywhere. So I run over to the door across from it, and I open it. What do I see? The door swings open. You see what at first glance kind of looks like a thick, dense jungle. But you kind of blink your eyes a few times, and you notice the trees are all flat, like two-dimensional. Sal so wouldn't like it. One solid color, no shading, almost as if it was drawn by a child. Well, I got some crazy shit over here. What do you got over there, Juliana? 
a, a bunch of doors. Well, open them. You kind of push, I push one. one open. Okay. As you push the door open, it's yanked from your grasp. The door oh, okay. boom, flies open, and you hear <laughs> from the other side of the door. Bob, is that you? That was not me. But I think I speak its language. <laughs> what did it say? <laughs> it said, hi, you, 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 you. Yeah. Uh, you take a few steps back as you see this twisted, horrid, wriggling, two-dimensional creature start wobbling its way towards you, making those god-awful noises. Gross, <laughs> gross, nasty. Does anybody have an eraser? <laughs> and you see its face... It's almost as if ink drawn on a paper. You see its eyes kind of swirling and adjusting, growing and shrinking as it's looking at you. Its mouth is all over the place, scribbled in with ink, and it just keeps moving towards you. Roll initiative. Okay, what did you get? Seven. Yep. I got a twelve. Uh, this monster starts working its way towards you, taking a few steps closer. When it launches its fist out at you, and tries to wrap it around your body and grapple you. You manage to just step back, parry it away, and kind of knock its paper-like yeah, hand back. Yeah, decision, monster. Duck, it is your turn. So this is like a coloring book monster come to life, right? Pretty much. Okay. And it seems like it has low intelligence, is that correct? Yep. Okay, so I have martial arts, of course. So I kind of want to see if I can start doing a martial arts type dance and see if I can distract it at all away from them. So you're trying to... Performance? Performance. Yeah, kind that's of what I was performance check? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so make a performance check. It's a 19. So I'm trying to kind of lull it into a sense of like, what? look at me, I'm safe, but kind of hypnotizing it at the same time with my movements. So as you start doing some kind of jerky dance, almost mimicking the movements of this doodle creature, you see it turns to you and starts mirroring you as two more fold out just like paper dolls from it and split off. And they're just kind of mirroring your movements, standing side by side, but still facing you. Uh, Mikey. Yeah, I'm just going to hit one with Guiding Bolt. 16 damage. And 16 only, radiant. You see, uh, are you? which one are you hitting? Left, middle, right? Uh, the middle. Your Guiding Bolt hits it, and it seems to just absorb right into the paper-like fabric of its body and you can see it starting to glow and almost burn just a little bit almost as if the light was so intense that it just started to singe his paper. Aelith is going to run up to the middle one, jab it with her little light beam sword hand thing for a 15. That'll hit. That is 4 damage. Uh, And the other two, they keep mimicking and mirroring you but they take Slow steps forward towards you. Okay. The middle one reaches out, snaps its hands, and it wraps around Aelith and starts pulling her in closer. <clears throat> she screams out, just frantically trying to bat him away with her weapon. Duck, you're up, buddy. All right, so I, I'm still dancing, and I'm... Mm-hmm. And I, I'm kind of, like, paying attention to what's going on. I see the, the one has grabbed her, and I decide to do a flip over. Am I close enough? Do what do you? You're I want to, to do like a cartwheel over with my short sword and cut at what it's grabbing her. Okay, go ahead and make an uh, attack roll. Oh, that's not good. Uh, that's uh, <laughs> is that a one? Yeah, uh, it's a four. Uh, I want to burn a lucky. You can burn a lucky if you'd like. I rolled a twenty-three altogether. So much better. Holy shit! Okay, can you give me an ap- acrobatics check now? Eleven altogether. You don't quite manage to make the whole cartwheel. But as you hop up over the creature, you bring your sword down, splitting its head in two, and you see the paper just rip right down the middle. Still alive. It's still wriggling, but its head is now kind of flapping in the wind. Still going... And I mock it just a little bit. (laughs) You do fall flat on your ass, though, when you land on the other side. Didn't quite make it the whole way, so you are prone. Boom. Damn it. Oh, shit. Okay. Suddenly, the doors around you start to swing open on their own. Boom. 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 Each one unfolding more and more and more. And then you hear it. The god-awful screeching. 
more of these doodles seem to come stepping out of the doors. Not all of them humanoid in shape like the three standing before you, but some of them more like coyotes, wolves. Pretty sure you even saw a dinosaur just unfold before your eyes. <laughs> nice. All of them start hobbling towards you again. All right, Sal Grindle. <gasps> oh, fuck. Here we go, boys. You find yourself back in this hallway, ornate doorway, the stones in front of you, the open door on your left, closed one on your right. Everything seems just back as it was. Ah, shit. I wipe off my face. <laughs> Wiping the puke from your brow. Ugh, that stinks. I remember how uh, the princess was, like, molesting the rocks to get it to open up. I molest them the same way. You're molesting rocks? People, like, I don't know why he uses the word molest when he means invest. Because if you could see his hand movements, that is molest. Yeah. Like, I can imagine that's how molester fingers move. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Tigger's a molester. All right, I'm just like I'm feeling around, like I'm I'm moving my hands over the, the stones the way she did, just like going like that. Is there anything happening? You hear a click. One of the stones pushes down, and it does glow a little bit, but it seems to just decompress and pop back into place. I take my bard strength. I punch the fire. Like I'm pushing it like really hard at this point. Both of them to get them to click and to stay there. Kame, Kame, ah! Can you give me a strength check? Oh fuck! I'll give you the best strength check you've ever seen. Strength check, that twenty. Thirteen. You rear your fist back, punch it into the rock. The rock breaks apart. Oh! Crumbles to the floor. Oh! And you kind of oh, look fuck. down, and you can see into the hole. It seems. Uh, so I'm looking at a hole. You, the hole where this little stone was. Nice. You see what looks like one long carving scratched into the rock beneath it, going further towards the wall, curving off to the right. I speak common and celestial. Are the carvings like anything to do with those languages? It's literally just a scrape on a rock, dude. <sighs> okay, so, you know, I take my thin rapier. I have a sword. I, like, stick it in the hole and, like, wiggle around to see if I can, like, get it to go loose or something. <laughs> stick your sword in. Jiggle it around, click! The stones fold back and open up into what looks like a small room. At the center, you see a box sitting on top of a table, a very long bar-like table lining this small circular room with various papers, ink bottles, quills, and all sorts of other notes and trinkets littering the desk at the far side of the room. I go up to the table. Is there anything on it? There's a box. I open up the box. You pop this wooden lid up and off. It looked almost like it was made of a light parchment, but feels just like the nice texture of a freshly cut tree. Fresh oak. What the hell's going on You here? lift it up, look down, you see two mirrors set up next to each other, a little diorama of a long castle hallway with doors drawn and painted on, and you see little paper cutouts of your three companions. What? Surrounded. The fuck? Surrounded by various other paper cutouts of these strange doodle-like creatures. Okay. There's there's paper, pen, and a quill, right? Yep. I draw a big old human-sized dick with balls for feet. I replace one of the creatures that are surrounding them with that drawing. And it, what happens? Let it happen, please. Flashing back to them. Uh, oh, what we need is a giant dick to save the day. <laughs> Big old bows on it. <laughs> Suddenly the large T-Rex paper monster crumples up, shoots up into the ceiling above you and disappears. When down floats this massive dong. Praise Huge... be to Chaco! Praise be to Chaco! Huge balls, fucking massive dick with legs. And it starts hobbling its way... <laughs> Slapping back and forth, sulking through the room, knocking back all the oh, little the paper sound. men and toys. Just, just like <laughs> soggy flesh on stone. <laughs> Can I hear them? You look down, you see your little Sounds paper cutout just sliding back and forth across the room like a windshield wiper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh. Why does it sound like nursing home butt sex in here? <laughs> Old and okay, slow um, and lazy and everything just on on the map where they're at. Can I put a trap door on right underneath them and then put another trap door on the other side of the monsters? 
Yeah, you can do that. Or I do that. Next to you, you see this little square trap door just kind of fade and sizzle into existence. It I'm seems to be at the bitch. center of all three of you. I'm rolling right through that shit. All right. Now you we guys are on the other like side Bugs of Bunny. the monsters right now. Okay. So we jumped in the trap door? Do I see myself in this diorama at all? No. Not at so all. So it's just them. Okay. So are, is the paper on his side, it is moving? He can see us like as little dioramas? Yeah, it doesn't, it, it doesn't look like your arms and legs are moving, but... Position. Position. So it looks like you're okay. kind of sliding across yeah. this little box. All right. I take a piece of paper and I make a weapons chest. Like I put like a sword, a barrel in this chest. I draw it in there. I drop it right next to Bob. Saying, and I have a little tag on it. Open me. So you're writing in ink, open me. Yeah. Okay. You hop through the trap door first though, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hop through the trap door. You pop up on the other side. You see you are behind this big old testicles and dick. Which is on our side, right? Or it's just existing. Yeah, it's, it's wiggling. Ah, yeah. Okay. It's just yeah. there. It's wiggling. Okay. Uh, the creatures <laughs> seem to be hobbling back towards you still, and this chest finally appears, pops open. You see uh, a couple of very nice-looking weapons, as well as a brand-new shining barrel with a tag that says, Open Me. If I could only read. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of look at the, the chest full of stuff, and I go... Mm. And I run over real quick. You said it's open already, or I just pop it open? You pop it open. Pop it open, and I'm like, ooh, the spoils of war! And I start grabbing this stuff, right? And I start tucking it into my sweet-ass fucking, my new clothes. What is, it, what is it again? A barrel? No, no, not my barrel. I look at that barrel and say, fuck this The dress barrel. had a... Yeah, yeah, I like the clothes that he gave Oh, the, uh, the tapestry that... Yeah, it's like my monkin clothes. That's how I got them. So I start putting the weapons and all the, the folds of the monkin clothes, and then I look over at the barrel, and I'm like... <laughs> and I kick it, Ailing. and then I realize I'm like, "Ooh!" And I, you kick the barrel, and just as you realize, "Ooh!" Okay. Aelith catches the barrel, waves her hand over it, lights it on fire, and kicks it back to you. <laughs> and then I go to put it on. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm like, <laughs> "Like your way of stinking." Get it? Because I was stinky earlier. Oh, and just I- kick the fucking barrel. All right, and I kick the barrel. The barrel rolls off right underneath the massive dong, and just like bowling balls of pins, knocks over a whole bunch of the doodle creatures. Do they catch on fire? Just immediately combust. Just boom, up in a bright blaze of orange flames. And then I realize Ileana isn't there. Has she seen the barrel full of fire coming down the hallway? Wait, what? Oh, uh, y- Yuliana. Oh, Yolana? Yeah, I don't know her name. She was right She's next standing you. there the whole time. Oh, next to me. I thought she went down on the trap door and it was on the other side. You all three went through the trap door. Oh, trap door was... Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Nope, just reading this Pokemon fan fiction. All right. <laughs> Where did Pikachu you take? know? <laughs> so, oh, I... God, no. Pikachu, no. Okay. I Pikachu's you to stick it in my ass. <laughs> How? <laughs> oh, God, it's like a lightning bolt. Oh, I get it. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Pikachu! So, <laughs> Why don't you Pink have a Pikachu's me? <laughs> so what does he see on his side? <laughs> oh, nice squirtle. You see this barrel, the paper itself catches fire, starts rolling, and tumbles into a couple of the other little paper figurines, which turn to ash before you. Do they see the other creatures? And then the ash? box starts to catch fire. No, I just have to put it out. I just have to stuff it out. A big hand comes down. Boom! 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 <laughs> <laughs> patting down into this box. <laughs> Do I hear these bangs? You're so you, doing... you're just going like, fuck, fuck, shit, fuck. <laughs> I'm going to look up. Do I, what do I see? Do I see Javi? Does the little, so. does the little paper figure of him look up too? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> You just see this big old hand that looks strangely familiar coming down and smacking against the ground of this hallway repeatedly. Get us the hell out of this box. Do I hear anything? God, I hope he does. <laughs> I hear that. That's you. That's you smacking the box to put the fire out. Okay, is the fire out? Yeah, fire's out. Okay, and I go, woo! Like, pretty much into the box. I need you two to make a... Uh, Damn it, you just blew into the box. Save. Where do you think the wind was coming at from before? <laughs> no, I didn't go, I, like, I made a whoo! So yeah, I go. that was close enough that it was... Twelve. Fuck, a three. Fuck. woo <laughs> Bob blows back, smacks into one of the columns. <laughs> hey, I love just, it! <clears throat> Wait, so there are, a, there are a bunch of papers on the floor around this whole room? This, this is all happening inside that little box on the table. Yeah, okay, we're in uh, the box. You're not. 
I draw a cat. Oh. Just tell us what the fuck's going on. Why don't you just write a little note? I guess draw us a fucking oh, door. Oh, oh. You take one, uh, one bludgeoning damage. Okay. Alright, I draw a cat. I put it in the board. A cat? Yeah, like a little cute cat. Aww. Like, is it moving around? Do I see it moving around on the table? Do you see it kind of scuttling around? I pick it up. I bring it outside of the box and place it on the floor. Right next to me. Just sits there on the floor. Does it come to life? I put the cat back in the box. Oh, the cat man. comes back to life. You see this cat? Aww. Just And this is a fairly decently sized cat. It's about half your size. Mr. Scruffles! Okay, alright. Like, more, more so like a lion to a human being than a cat to a human being. If you can understand... It just kind of appears... Disappears and then appears again. Okay. All right, uh, pushy, pushy, pushy. I write on the wall, like in the drawing, I write on the wall. <coughs> if you can hear me, look up and I go, hi. Hi. Just rings through the room and shakes. You can feel the floor and the box vibrate. The little paper people fall over and then stumble back up to their feet. Even the big dick goes, <laughs> stays down for a few seconds and then. But do they see what I wrote on the wall? Yep. So they look up, so I see like little paper figures looking up at me. You see them kind of fold back, so their head looks up. Holy shit. Oh, boy. So I I notice that he's written on the wall, and I look up and I go, Who the hell is that? Does he hear me on that side? You hear nothing. Guys, it's me, Sal. Who the hell is me, Sal? Guys, it's me, Sal. <laughs> and I look up and I go, Can you hear me? Here. You see the I just paper like, him going. <laughs> no, Bob, I can't hear you. No, Bob, I can't hear you. So I take my uh, my mud sponge that I had earlier, and I go up to the wall and I write. Yes, it is gross. And I write. I draw a bowling ball and I roll it on top of his hand. I was about to talk to you through the wall. I'm not. I'm not having you writing <laughs> shit. I'm sorry, but no. It's a useful <laughs> thing. It's the only thing I have to write with. Let me do it. Let me do it. No. <laughs> yes, it's happening. All right. So I go up to the wall now and I go. Be, now I'm going to smell that and all I, the way from the other side. And I start to write, where are you on the wall? He's right there. I'm in a room. You start to see through this illusion. We're trapped the in a ceiling stupid magic box. Fades away and above you, you see a giant Sal Grindle looking down at you. Nice view there, sweetheart. Show like us goods. your dick. Oh, wait, you get you already did. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> So, she sees me. Yeah. Like, human to human. But they I... all see you now. Okay, so... To you, I... it still looks like little paper cutouts. Fuck. What do I do? I you whisper... Like this box. You hear whispering into the box. What do I do? Guys, what do I do? I'm at a complete loss Open here. Open the door. Which door? The one we got in here through. This time, you actually do manage to hear small voices. Uh, Open what? the door! Alright, so, uh, I open the door again. I draw it, and I'm kind of like, suck them out. Right next to you, this small little cutout of a doorway opens up before you, just as the doodle people are finally within inches of you all. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and jump through that. You hear a commotion from the other room as someone flops against the stone for their life. Aelith follows closely behind you in full sprint for the door and dives to the other side. I pick up Bob by his barrel and I take his paper and I roll it through the door. Not in the barrel, just picking up in the back of the paper. I pick him up by the back of the paper and just, like, chuck him in there. Wee! <laughs> the little paper disappears, and you hear from directly behind you, actually. Ah! Boom! Oh, shit. How so big is this box? Is that big? About that in diameter. Say about maybe half a foot deep. I take that with me. But you're real- out of the box. Yeah, you're out of the box. You were actually in the same room as... Guys! It's me, Sal! You recognize me? Uh, is yes. This, is the door still open? The door is still open. Mr. Scruffles, quickly, get in here! Oh, yeah, kitty, yeah. kitty! <laughs> the kitty runs through the door alongside two of the doodle people. So do they jump in the room? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're Are they made out of meat now, or is it still paper? There's still paper. Even the cat? Yes, please. The cat the, is still paper. Yes. Uh, but I grab the two doodle bobs paper and I rip them in half. But no, they're, they're human they're size. They're human size. Shut the door! Shut the door! Someone shut the door! Mr. Scruffles got in! So what happens when I rip the paper? Nothing, you can't. They're, Rub, grab they're the through the door. Rip it. They're through the door, so like their pieces disappear off the board. Yeah, you see two more pieces disappear off the board. Oh, shit. They're in the room with us now. I close the door on the, on the, <laughs> nice. I, on the box. I close the door. Like, I'd like, just rip it up. So now it's just us and the two dudes. Yeah. And Mr. Scruffles. And Mr. Scruffles. You see the, the doorway into this 
infinite hallway you were previously in just <laughs> fall to pieces. You see Sal Grindle on the other side of these doodle people. But we're going to pick up where we left off with initiative. Sal, I need you to roll in. Twelve. Duck, you're up. No one messes with Mr. Scruffles. So I, uh, I do my little dance real quick, but then I'm going to do a, a, a flip over to just drop kick him as hard as possible. You're drop kicking a piece of paper. Well, you know, it might work. <laughs> so uh, oh, you're, you're yeah. going to flip over him and drop kick him. Well, you know, I might cut it. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Okay, okay. 19. You manage to flip over him, you get behind him, and make an attack roll. <laughs> I'm going to stay with it. Fuck it. I rolled a one. <laughs> okay. One plus one strength, two. That's such a sweet flip, though. It was a sweet flip, right? Right? Y'all saw the flip, right? You fastball special flip. You're gonna, like, go to the flip and you're gonna crack open your head. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're, like, family guy crumpled on the floor just bleeding. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it! Who put these stairs here? <laughs> I don't know what it happened. I'm staying with it. Oh, my God. So you run up, flip over this Doodle monster, land on your feet, a perfect ten. You turn around, and just as you're about to drop kick this motherfucker, huh? you look down, you landed fucking sideways. Your ankle oh. down hard. Oh. Wasn't quite the perfect ten you thought it was. <laughs> and you come crashing down onto the floor, wailing in pain. <laughs> Do I take any damage, or I'm just... Oh, do you take damage? Oh, God. Well, especially, you knocked down a one there, boy, boy. That is seven bludgeoning damage, good sir. All right. Yelena. I'm going to go ahead and... I guess just shoot this dude. Uh, 24. Whoa. Your arrow... Bink! Shoof! Rips right through the little paper man's head. You even watch it stick into the wall behind him yes. with a little bit of paper stuck to the wall as he yes. crumples down to the ground. One of them still standing, just kind of wriggles in front of you. Yo, hi, my baby. Hi, me, hi, hi, me, hi, hi, me, hi, me. It's my turn. Hobbs, yeah. <laughs> okay. You see this paper cat, <laughs> this paper dude, and okay. your whole party standing on the other side of them. Okay, uh, I take my crossbow. I aim it at that motherfucker's face. Give me an attack roll. All right. Okay. That's not the right dice. Oh, thank God, because I was the one. <laughs> I need an yeah. You're going to subtract that from whatever you roll. What? I didn't, I didn't not, not do nope, it. Nope, you rang you rolled the wrong dice. He's Come on, lost. bro. That's a 20. Yeah, that's a 20. That's a 20. <laughs> so I, roll, I rolled a 9. Hmm. It rips through the monster's shoulder. It falls back down on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a badass. You're pretty sure that one was pretty badly burned already. But you killed him. You stand in this same hallway, little room with the big box, table of papers, pens, ink, all sorts of stuff in the back. The little paper cat, about half your size, sitting before you. He's a bit wait, of a wait, fat does he cat. Have bobs? He's about half the size of an average human being. Okay. So he's a big cat. Meow. <gasps> Mr. Scruffles, it's me, Daddy. Meow. Mr. Scruffles, come see me. Meow. Mr. Scruffles is a fucking idiot. Uh, I kill Mr. Scruffles. Don't kill him. Like I take a cross. No, don't phone. kill him. I stop and him. I stop him from killing Scruffles. His head, and I you're stop. not gonna stop me because stop Nat four. <laughs> That's a twenty. Unnatural twenty. That's not a natural twenty. Unnatural twenty, my friend. Unnatural twenty. What's the what's the arm request for the cat? No, no, I'm stopping you. He's you gotta. Uh, get first through. of all, I moved first. My crossbow was ready in my hand. I'm stopping. You would have had to reload it, which would have taken a few seconds. He saw you reloading it and pulling it back and lining up the side on the paper cat. He runs up and manages to knock the crossbow out of your hand. Smack. God <clears throat> damn it, Bob. I stole this from my uncle. It's Mr. Scruffles. He came from the heaven. He's going to get fucking distracted for you. No. Yelohana, can I keep him? I'm not your mother. I mean, I might be older than you, but... So I walk over to Mr. Scruffles and I, baby. I pet his, you know, cat head and stuff. How's he react? The paper starts to kind of shake as you're pretty sure he's purring. Aww, <laughs> Scruffles, you're my best friend. <laughs> can I can I keep him? Why? Why did I do this? Yes? Yes! We got Mr. Scruffles! I'm so happy right now, dude. <laughs> do you know how happy I am? We I want to kill that cat. <laughs> <laughs> What the 
fucking paper cat. <laughs> Dude, come on. It's paper a, tiger, man. Hey, come on. That's that's a, what, what do you call that? A uh, animal companion? Yep. Fuck yeah, we got an animal companion, you guys. Is it still paper? Yes. It's still paper. <laughs> yes. Okay. Bob, what's going to happen if it's I'm raining cool outside? It. We can fold them up and put them in our pocket. That's going to hurt them. actually, yeah. In fact, I'm going to fold them up right now. Good idea. I'm down. Yeah. Yeah. He folds down to the point where he's about the size of a regular cat, mm-hmm. and then you fold him once more to the point where he's just little bitty. And then I and well, I just pick him up and I go hee hee, put him right there. Haha, <laughs> Mr. Scrap was just next to my heart. I'm gonna take this box with me. It's interesting. Okay, you now have the strange wooden box. And I also grab some extra paper quills and inks. Okay, so uh, you can go ahead and say you have uh, grab two quills, three bottles of ink, and 15 pages. Is there anything else in this room that's worth taking? Definitely worth looking. I'm going to start looking around because I am ecstatic as shit. In fact, I think I gave up drinking. Meow. <laughs> all right, so we're all looking around. What do we see? Do we find anything of interest? Your rapier is still sticking out of the stone. The little room you were in. Is there like a hidden door or another door in that room? You can try looking for one. And I do. I like, I'm like. i feeling on the walls to like, see if there's anything hinky afoot, like some fuckery. Anything going on? Some fuckery. Fuckery, fuckery, fuckery. Right, fickery, right. fuckery, duck. Don't bring me into this. <laughs> <laughs> Running your hands along the wall, inside this little room with a strange box, again you find four square cutouts right next to one another. <clears throat> in the second slot <clears throat> is a... Square cut out red gem. I take inside the, red the gem. slot. <clears throat> oh, inside the slot. Oh, try putting the blue one in one. I put the blue one in one. <laughs> he said it so. I put the blue one in there. <laughs> Here we. I'm so hot. I'm tired, guys. Sorry. I'm so stoned. Right. Is it in the right spot? You, you sure it's not <laughs> the massive copious amounts of THC? I don't know. Because your eyes look like this. <laughs> what do they look like? <laughs> you see a white light split from the two gems in both directions. Mm-hmm. A blue line shoots up and down, forming half of a doorway arc. A red line shoots up the other way, forming the other half. Yo, Lahana, you still got that pink stone? It was glass. It cut me. I think I might have got something from it. You and definitely no, got I left it in the fucking <laughs> trash. And then the wall itself just kind of opens up. And before you, you see a grandiose balcony splits off in two directions, and there's a light fog in front of you. You see, both on your left and right, row after row after row after row of bookshelves. What the f- Lined with novels, tomes, books bound, all colors, shapes, sizes, some thousands of hundreds of pages, some mere brochures but all organized very nicely. As you walk out a little bit further onto the balcony, you look down, you see four floors of nothing but pure books surrounding you, and it seems to go on for hundreds of feet. It seems almost endless. All right. You guys stay on the balcony. I'll be right back. I go back into the room, open up my box. I draw the doorway again in the hallway. I draw a big magic carpet, and I have it come through the door into the room. And that closes it back up so nobody else comes through. So now we got a magic carpet in here and we're going to go for a little magic carpet. I'm about to show you the world. It's shining, shimmering splendor. If and we're going to go down. If the DM allows it. Shall we leave it to chance? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Did he get his carpet? Well, I'm going to ride the tiger through. He's in my pocket but I'm more than willing to get him out. Uh, of the if you suggest it, we will uh, ride the We will ride him. Ride the tiger! And it hides so high when I'm riding the tiger. See his stripes, but you know he's clean. Your doorway opens up. Ronnie loves you. And as it closes spicy. on the other side, you see this very flat, nice... It looks as thin as paper, but it, it seems to be like a drawn rug. When suddenly it rolls up, and it stands up, and starts walking over towards you, he goes, Oh, dear God! You'd never understand how long I was cooped up in there. That was just a uh, horrid. I do believe I will be taking my leave, so if you... Uh... Whoa, 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 who are you? <laughs> who am I? <laughs> I am Magique Carpe. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love Magic yeah. Carpe. <laughs> Magic Carpe. Magic Carpe, can you fly? Ooh, that sounds. Can I? Oh, oh, child! Can I fly? He floats up into the air a few feet. I can do this. You see the carpet start to flex well, before you. I need a favor, Magic. I need you to take me, and my friend, through that portal, and we're gonna go down and explore. Explore? Yeah. No, why would the great Magic Carpe help? A heathen, a civilian, a weakling. I'm pretty sure someone fired like me. you. Uh, what about me? Well, you see, who, who are you? I'm more than just your. You see a uh, on the on the carpet. Uh, <laughs> some of the, the the little threads start to uh, change color into the shape of a bow tie. <laughs> and he kind of floats over to you, doing a little uh, leaning on his hand, floating. <laughs> and uh, it's a carpet, you guys. What is your name? I don't really see how that's important right now. Oh, trust me, it's important to Magie Carpe. <laughs> I-, I can show you these girls. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ride you in library. Yeah, there yeah. should be some good books here. Magic, don't worry. I promise you if, you, you, if you give us a ride, me? you will have those bouncing all over <laughs> yourself. And she doesn't wear underwear. Cause I'm a girl. Debatable. <laughs> I don't really want to walk and climb. <laughs> but if I can sit on you. You guys can And ride screw. around. <laughs> you might get some slime. <laughs> oh, oh I, I bathed in shit and didn't get that response. You gross son of a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Work isn't working. It's yeah. working. I'm thinking of working on the DM right now, so hopefully it's working on that. That was my persuasion. And I'm going to roll, Carpe. and that's an 11. No need to roll your <laughs> And I threw in some shala laws to, to help the situation. You, shala you get advantage for singing it. Right. Right. Don't yeah. be yeah. shy. Nailed it. That girl too shy. That so, magic books. So, yeah, you only need a, a lift, you would say. Yeah. A little ride she, on a magic carpet. She's, she's going to ride your face all the way to Tinseltown if you let her. <laughs> Starting to get weird. As much as I'd love to be a... Look, are you going to help us to get lit on? Fine! Find the great magic cafe! Look at it. You're not going to wash the spot that she sits on. <laughs> I mean, he's made out of paper. He probably doesn't want to wash anything. This is true. Okay, you're going to help us? Or get lit on fire? Eh, we're not going to let you on fire, but you know, we're going to help Fire? You. I don't know. Do I need to say it a fourth time? No, how about you just not say it a first or second? I'm just going to keep repeating myself until he understands yeah. that that's the way it's going to be. You see the little bow tie turn into uh, like a blue bellboy cap, complete with string. And he goes, floats over, hovers over the balcony. Okay, the great Magic Carpe has decided to assist you! So Excellent decision. <laughs> a wise choice. I suppose we should, uh, what is this? Third floor, fourth floor, fourth floor! Going down, Magic Carpe! All aboard. Magic Carpe, can you tell us a little bit about this place that we're in? I have no idea where we are. He Fair was enough. born two seconds ago. I know. But he seems like he's been around. Oh, the great Magic Carpe has been around. He has been to many places and to none. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have any, like, magic abilities or, uh... Oh, I have plenty of magic abilities. Magic abilities out the wash, too. Like what? Please enlighten us. Isn't that French for bird? What is a French? I have no idea. Fuck this shit. I'm getting on the carpet. All right, Magic Carpe. Don't shit on the carpet. We're going to go down four floors. So I climb up on Magic, and I sit down, and of course, you know, no underwear once again, so my giant quackers or whatever we call them. Clackers. Are, clackers are just rusting Don't on Don't leave Magie. skid marks on Magic. Oh, God, he's teabagging me. <laughs> he teabags a lot of people. And yeah, he's stink. a terrible person. Oh, this is never going to wash out of my threads. <laughs> never. Never. <laughs> Just get this over with. The three of you, along with Aelith, climb on board Magic as he gently kind of floats down. Oh, uh, which, which floor am I stopping on? Three, two, one. 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 Okay, okay. It starts lowering down further and further gently until it, he lays flat on the floor with all of you above him. Okay, please, get off the rug. It's, get, get, get off me, the rug thing. It's starting to hurt. I've fallen asleep. And I kick Bob off, Magic. <laughs> oh! 
Thank you. Nice. <laughs> Alright, now just stay here, chill out, we're gonna be right back. He kind of rolls himself up and pops up. You know, like, like magic carpet from Aladdin. He's standing up on his, his yeah. two edges and he's leaning over to you again. Oh, don't worry, I'll be I'll be here for you. I have huh? something for you. Oh, do you? Yeah, it's a scroll case. Why don't you roll yourself up and get in there and shut up? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be... Or get lit on fire. Okay! <laughs> I, love, I love magic! <laughs> He rolls himself up. You see the paper kind of compartmentalize a little bit and just almost like a telescope just fold up and slip inside the tube. And I lean over to Yuliana real quick and go, smells like my nuts. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry, I can't hear you again. (laughs) Such a bitch! So, alright. Let's search for books. So we're on the balcony of the first floor. What do we see? We're looking for books here? No, there's just a lot of books there. We're not looking for books in particular. The floor below you, it has this large... Why the hell did we come to the library? It has this large circle pattern in the floor tiles forming this ornate looking centerpiece that's kind of difficult to decipher from here. All around you surrounds these curved bookcases that all seem to be focused in towards this a pattern on the floor, just surrounding it row by row by row. How tall are these bookcases? They take up the entire floor. Okay, I start going up one just to get a better look of the actual thing that it makes. Can you give me an athletics check? 16. 16? Yeah. You uh, hop up one bookshelf at a time until you make your way up just about to the second floor. Hanging off, you look back down. It looks... To be like a old godlike figure, glowing in radiance. You see it. What color very, is the glow? It's a, got a white glow to it. The person at the center of it, you have a feeling that they resemble that of a god, just because the amount of detail and precision that looks like it went into crafting this particular person. Surrounding them, it almost looks like a a white ribbon winding its way across until it looks like it twists into a a black ribbon folding back around and then eventually twisting again. For every bit of detail that's a specific color on one side, it flips and is its complementary color on the other. It's a very colorful pattern, but you can't help but notice that on one side is a small little triangle in a pink shape missing revealing just plain stone underneath cuz bob didn't you throw, son of a bitch bob didn't throw a shard of glass at you he threw the stone you still got it between your boobs i left it on the floor it was nasty <laughs> <laughs> my head hurts can somebody heal me <laughs> no no can i eat rations or something to heal oh, myself no what heals me no yalahana get your boyfriend out of the tube <laughs> A short while yeah. later. Get your boyfriend out of the tube, baby. Come here with me. <laughs> Actually, why don't we use Mr. Dio? Um, his name's Mr. Scruffles. What? And he's kitty sleep- kitty. And he's sleeping. Kitty kitty. He's sleeping. Yeah. Kitty kitty. Alright, yeah. he's fucking awake. You got your ass hurt. He unfolds out of his pocket to the size of a regular cat and sits before you. Pretty kitty. <laughs> why don't you go get mommy that glass triangle? <laughs> Meow. He just kind of sits down in front of you. Or get lit on fire. <laughs> <laughs> he scrambles up the bookshelves. You hear his claw marks and just Such this cat meow. And he's what clawing his kitty. way up the... Mr. Scruffles, be careful. I love you, my <laughs> best friend. Oh, Fuck me too. Hell. What a what? He's a good cat and you try to kill him. Well, he's a distraction for you. I love him. And I go into a song. I love you, Scruffles. <laughs> He's been taken. <laughs> you gotta stop, bro. All right, all right, right. Spin on my arm. I'm sorry. In my forehead. <laughs> well, don't molest me over it. <laughs> so the the paper kitty comes back with a little shard of glass in his mouth and comes crawling back down the bookcases, drops paper it at kitty. your feet, quickly folds back up and hops into your pocket. Bob. Oh, here you go, Mr. Schnapples. All right, so I take the pink shard of stone and I put it in the thing where it's supposed to go the floor below you hums lightly it's a vibrator (laughs) the floor below you hums lightly and lets off a faint glow 
glowing from the different colors. So it's all depending on, it's just a colorful glow all around. At the very center, rising up from the absolute middle of this small circle is a rectangle panel. It flips over, turns into a sheet of paper with handwriting scrawled on it. Read it out loud, Sal. Ivana, my love, it is time we left this paradise. The denizens of Valorn have become obsessed with our island. I tire of watching them perish. Fear not, I will secure our treasures. Tales and stories within these walls. He has told me to open these doors if the need arises. Fine. You know you are worthy. Seek true Aether. Seek true Aether. 3-517-0693-A. Pretty sure those are the numbers in Lost. What? <laughs> you ever watch Lost? No. Oh. The, the capsule, dude. You don't know what that is? Guys, this, we sh- you still have to read this letter. Something about Ether. I realized something as you said that, just out of the game. Your hillbilly name would be Ether instead of Ethan. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Ether! Come hey, on. Ether, come here! Ether. Come here, Ether. We gotta show you some Where shit. Where the fuck you going, Ether? <laughs> hey! <laughs> that, was, that was Big Gal. Stream that shit. Alright, so... Yeah, let me read it real quick. Is it Ilvana? Ilvana, I totally love you. Okay. <laughs> Ilvana, my love, it is time we left this paradise. The denizens of Valorn have become obsessed with our island. I tire of watching them perish. Fear not, I will secure our treasures, tales, and stories within these walls. He has told me to open these doors if the need arises. Fine. Know you are worthy. Seek true ether. O three. dot. Five one seven dot oh six dot ninety three A. Now the island is that referring to the island that's being held tethered to the ground by chains? Of course. Please join us for our next Dungeons and Distractions side quest. Thank you for listening.